Good morning, all you fine people from Lata, South Carolina. Lata, South Carolina. I don't know how they say it. Lata, down in Lata, South Carolina. Lata. Lata. L A T T A. Slept here tonight, and we're just getting going. The lights on. The pre trip done. My trailer is empty. It's ready to be. Uh, it's all cleaned up. Ready to be dropped in Atlanta. As soon as I drop it, I hook onto a different one. And I make my way with the wind towards the north, up in Ontario. We'll be in Ontario tomorrow night, I believe. And then we're coming right back. Gotta be in Rock Island. That's kind of a, I think that building's gonna fall apart on you there, bud. Oh dear. CB shop, tire shop. I guess whatever works, eh? You just need shelter. In 200 meters, turn right on SC38. Alright, we're gonna get on to Interstate 95. I'm gonna sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. How's my hair? Is it still there? A little bit still there. Good. We're in Georgia now, Georgia. We're coming up to Atlanta in about a half hour here. We're gonna switch trailers and uh, start moseying on north. I need a haircut. I can feel it sticking up. That's a big pickup, wow. Definitely in Georgia. So today has been a uh, good eventless day of driving. Well, there was some events. It rained for about five minutes and then it gushed for about another five minutes. Like, I don't know, gush. Like, I would call it a cloud burst. And then it went away and the sun came back out. That's all I have to report to you today. Nothing. Nothing else going on. Good day for trucking though. You know, when, when you got nothing to report, that's usually a good trucking day. You don't want a whole bunch of issues to talk about, you know, like, oh, you wouldn't believe what happened to me today. Nah, -uh, I don't like issues. I like just sliding through the day, rolling down the highway with nothing going on. That's a good day to me. Interstate 285, that means we're in Atlanta. Soaring around the east side, headed south, so around there, they got like a ring road type deal. 285 goes around the whole city. We gotta go to the south side here. Switch trailers. Not too much traffic. Not too much traffic. I'm actually surprised. I was expecting more. It's 6.30 in the evening here right now. On a Friday. And we're moving. I wonder if they still got those lockdowns going on here or what? What's going on? Why isn't there more people on the road? I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, even less people on the road would be better for me. But this is rush hour, I'm surprised. Maybe it'll get worse up ahead. I should have kept my mouth shut. I'm probably gonna hit stop and go traffic just up here. And so far, I've only been cut off twice. Not bad for Atlanta, not bad. Signals are optional, as in, as most cities are, you know. Seems that as soon as you get to big cities, People pay less attention to how they're driving. Everybody's in a rush. That's the thing about cities, right? It's all rush, 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 rush. You know, you live five minutes away from everything, but you're still in a rush. Why? You know, when we want to go grocery shopping, it's a whole afternoon event. There is no rushing it. So, so why even try? You just enjoy life a little bit. Like, always in a rush. Winnipeg is the same way. It's just rush, rush, rush. As soon as you get inside the perimeter. Oh, you're going to cut me off. You're going to cut me off. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're going to come in here. I know you are. You don't have your... Oh, there it is. There it is. See, since you used your signal, I made space for you. That's how it works. You turn your signal on, I'll make some space for you. But if you just cut in front of me with no signal, well, then that makes me angry. And then you got an angry trucker Josh ranting on YouTube about you. Nobody wants that. So I've got my new trailer here and uh, 
the yard guys sure didn't leave me a lot of space. And then I got another trailer over there. They just barely snuck it in here. Lovely. Just pack this yard right full with as many as they possibly can. I've gotten here before. I can remember over the years I've come here many times and I've gotten here before and I actually had to get one of the yard guys to move a trailer for me because ours was blocked in. You couldn't get it out. I think they sometimes forget because they're in such a rush that uh, we don't have the same capabilities as their little shunt trucks. We need a little bit more space. And plus we gotta roll up the dollies too. But whatever is what it is. Here's what it is. Here's what, here's what, here's what, Diesel. Diesel. What do you got to say to the good people? I farted, man. That's why dad went outside. <laughs> yes, exactly. And that's why the windows are rolled down. What a guy. What a stinky guy. Always building something. This corner here is always under construction. We're just about to turn on to uh, Interstate 75 North from the Interstate 285. So we're, we're on the north side of Atlanta. Keep to the left on I-75 and then keep to the left in 510 meters. I remember not too long ago, uh, all of these bridges and overpasses here that we're going to go under, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. I thought it was lit up better than this. These were all just being built. Now they're all finished already. In 300 meters, keep to the left on I-75 north and then keep to the left in 1.4 kilometers. When I was on uh, flatbeds for, what was it, three years, two years, two or three years, uh, I didn't come down here that much. It's kind of nice to see how everything is sort of come together in this little area here. This is all under construction before I went on flatbeds. Now it's all finished. One kilometer, keep to the left on I-75. I thought it was lit up better though. Sorry guys. Diesel. The good people are here again. You can have a staring contest with them? I think they're gonna win, man. Oh, don't give up that easy. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Morning. Uh, it's the next day again. Now we stopped at a rest area uh, in Tennessee here on I-75. Let me check the Googles. Google, where am I? She never listens. I'm go in here and figure out for myself then. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Where am I? Whoa, where'd I go? One second, stop. Stop, everybody's yelling at me. Stop it. Or maybe I'm yelling at everybody. <laughs> Northbound I-75 rest area. Uh, Athens, Tennessee. It's like Athens, Greece, but Athens, Tennessee. It's the Merc of Athens. And we have 1,200 kilometers to get up to Waterloo. I might make it tonight yet. I have the hours. Uh, we don't necessarily have to. I'll get close and then uh, we'll pick up the load. We're gonna drop off this trailer I have behind me in uh, Breslau, Ontario. And then I got a bobtail over to Waterloo, Ontario, pick up a preloaded trailer that's sitting there waiting for me with a nice little bow on it, I assume. And it has my name on it. Better have a bow on it. And then uh, I'm gonna pick that one up and we're gonna drag it all the way over to Rock Island, Illinois. That's just over the river from Davenport, Iowa. And then I have a load in Davenport, Iowa that's going to Western Canada. Uh, it'll probably take me home. So I'm filming this and it's, uh, what does it say? Diesel, what, what day is it? Saturday? That's what I thought. Saturday. Uh, so Sunday will be there. Monday, Tuesday. I'll probably be home Wednesday, I'm guessing. Who knows? Maybe sooner, maybe later. I don't know. I got to keep trucking. We got to gotta keep going because we had all that time off to get that room done, right? But I still want to show you the progress we made on that room. It, it looks great. Everybody came together. I know I don't like asking for help, but uh, everyone pretty much offered their help. And uh, we did ask a few people and they came out. It's so nice to have friends and family that help you when you need it. I can't do everything on my own. As much as I would really like to do everything on my own, the renovations at home, I just, it's a lot. I learned a valuable lesson, a valuable lesson. Never renovate a house again. 
that's the lesson. Buy a house that's already brand new. <laughs> so, I don't know, Britt and I have been talking. We'd like to build a new house one day. But we really like the property where we're on right now. Uh, it's, meh, we'll see. We just redid that room now, so we'll see what happens. I'm taking off, though, everybody. Thanks for watching. Time to start a new day. You're going to have to wait till tomorrow. So I hope you tune in. Hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on my journey through this crazy, weird life of mine as I wander around North America. <laughs>